Geppetto took his tools and began to cut and shape the wood into a marionette. What shall I call him? He said to himself. I think I'll call him Pinocchio. And with that, we're back over to home base. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Hi. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying things. This has been crazy, crazy. We're going to uh, check in real quick. Yes, we're going to check right. in with the donation total right yes. now. We are currently at $683,000. We are closing in on the insane number of $700,000. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for keeping those donations going. Thank you for being supportive of everything that's happening today. Thank you for supporting the mission of St. Yes. Jude. We are closing in on that million dollar mark, which is, you know, the ultimate goal of the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got to keep, keep it going. We've got to keep it going strong. We're going to hit that million. We have to keep going. And remember, it's all in support of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, we are so happy to be partnering with them. And thank you so much for joining us. And this is, if you are a repeat viewer, thank you for joining us again this year. You know how much we love this stream and this organization. Yeah. And so, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the in the previous segment, uh, when we crossed that six hundred thousand dollar mark, we had crossed milestone after milestone. Uh, like we said. As we hit these different moments, we are unlocking more and more parts of the show. And one of those parts of the show that I mentioned uh, was a, a special video submitted uh, specifically for the stream by none other than Corpse Husband. Now, for those of you who don't know, Corpse Husband has a very uh, dramatic, dark, scary voice. Uh, you'll see it, or I guess you won't see it. You'll hear it soon enough. Yeah, uh, fair warning. We are, w w this, is a, this is a wacky milestone. We, we had some stinky foods. Now we're reading a genuinely, Genuinely scary story, so we're not we're not like it's not pulling a, your leg. It's not a scary story, guys. It, it's Corpse Husband reading Pinocchio. How hard could it be? We're the gonna original, the original Pinocchio. We're gonna get cleaned up backstage. Enjoy Corpse Husband's interpretation of Pinocchio. Sweet dreams. You're gonna need it. Little as Geppetto's house was, it was neat and comfortable. It was a small room on the ground floor with a tiny window under the stairway. As soon as he reached home, Geppetto took his tools and began to cut and shape the wood into a marionette. What shall I call him? He said to himself. I think I'll call him Pinocchio. No sooner was it finished then it began to laugh and poke fun at him. Stop laughing, Geppetto said angrily. But he might as well have spoken to the wall. Pinocchio, you wicked boy, he cried out. You start out by being impudent to your poor old father. Very bad, my son. Very bad. He took hold of the marionette under the arms and put him on the floor to teach him to walk. Pinocchio's legs were so stiff he could not move them. And Geppetto held his hand and showed him how to put one foot after the other. When his legs were limbered up, Pinocchio came to the open door and with one leap he was out into the street. Away he flew. Poor Geppetto ran after him but was unable to catch him. Catch him, Geppetto kept shouting. One person after another gathered around the two saying, Geppetto looks like a good man, but with boys, he's a real tyrant. If we leave that poor marionette in his hands, he may tear him to pieces. They said so much that finally, the policeman dragged Geppetto to prison. Ungrateful boy, to think I tried so hard to make you a well-behaved marionette. Very little time did it take to get poor old Geppetto to prison. In the meantime, that rascal Pinocchio free now, was running wildly across fields and meadows. But his happiness lasted only a short time, for just then he heard someone saying, Who is calling me? asked Pinocchio. I am. Pinocchio turned and saw a large cricket crawling slowly up the wall. Tell me, cricket, who are you? 
I am the talking cricket, and I refuse to leave this spot until I have told you a great truth. Woe to boys who refuse to obey their parents and run away from home. They will never be happy in this world, and when they are older they will be very sorry for it. At these last words, Pinocchio jumped up in a fury, took a hammer from the bench and threw it with all his strength at the talking cricket. And, sad to relate, my dear children, he did hit the cricket straight on its head. With a last week, the poor cricket fell from the wall, dead. If the cricket's death scared Pinocchio at all, it was only for a few moments. He turned to look and behold, there in the darkness stood two big black shadows wrapped from head to foot in black sacks. The two figures leaped toward him as softly as if they were ghosts. He tried to run away, but hardly had he taken a step when he heard two horrible deep voices say to him, Your money or your life. He freed himself from the claws of the assailers and leaping over the bushes along the road, ran swiftly across the fields. As he ran, the marionette felt more and more certain that he would have to give himself up into the hands of his pursuers. Suddenly, he saw a little cottage gleaming white as the snow among the trees of the forest. In despair, Pinocchio began to kick and bang against the door. At the noise, a window opened and a lovely maiden looked out with a voice so weak that it could hardly be heard. She whispered, No one lives in this house. Everyone is dead. No one lives in this house. Everyone is dead. Won't you at least open the door for me? cried Pinocchio in a beseeching voice. I also am dead. Dead? What are you doing at the window then? I am waiting for the coffin to take me away. After these words, the little girl disappeared, and the window closed without a sound. Open, I, I beg of you. Take pity on a poor boy who was being chased by two assassins. He did not finish, for two powerful hands grasped him by the neck, and the same two horrible voices growled threateningly. Now we have you. The marionette still hoped for some good soul to come to his rescue, but no one appeared. He thought of his poor old father, and hardly conscious of what he was saying, murmured to himself, Oh father, dear father, if you were only here. These were his last words. Wow, oh my gosh. that was uh, that was inspirational. That was the Pinocchio that we did not see. Uh, that is the Pinocchio <laughs> that the public has been demanding at this point. I, to, to me, no, I, no one demanded that, that one. Not, not I. So, so true story. Actually, for those of you who don't know, uh, Pinocchio actually started off as a serialized series. Uh, in newspapers, so back yeah. in the back in the days when people read newspapers, you would actually get like these little segments in each newspaper that would kind of continue on a story. And Pinocchio was one of the original version of Pinocchio, which you just heard. Uh, and to be fair, that's us censoring it. Yeah, we, we actually, censored it. We, we made it less intense. It. Yeah, um, I feel like with Corpse Husband's voice, though, he can read anything and it gets super intense. But uh, the original version was super popular, but it ended there with Pon Pinocchio, you know, breathing his last or whatever. Uh, and the newspaper was like, hey. People love the story, but uh, can we make it a little bit more fun, happy? Family friendly. So something. something. And so in the back half, that's when the back half of the story was added uh, after the fact. It was kind of like a retcon of the original story where like he learns his lesson and he's happy with Geppetto again and everything goes to kind of like the way that, that is, expected to. That is not the Pinocchio that I want to see. Uh, hashtag, I hashtag my Pinocchio. Uh, uh, no. Th that is the Absolutely. definitive yes. version of Pinocchio. Uh, no, Howie Mandel. No, no. Howie Mandel button, what do you think? What? Uh, what do you think? Definitive version of Pinocchio? No. No. He does Matt not is right. He is, see, this man knows absolutely what's going on. He's, he's, uh, no. You, you can't just have a recording of Howie Mandel saying you're right. Howie, how do you feel? 
Sorry, Steph. I, I gotta side with Matt on this one. What? Bro, he's gotta no, side. No, with no, no, no. He Pre knows. He's a man of. No, you're taste. gonna run out of those. Press it again. Press it again. Right, you are, Matt. God, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. I can't. I. I think. I think that one is. I think Howie Mandel is against me. Uh, he might have said hey, I looked nice, but I think theory. he was just buttering me up. <laughs> Just see, see how we and I are tight. We we go way back. He's, he's a great guy. Just theory. Okay, are you, theory. Are Thanks, you Howie. and your buddy Howie? I think I've got to I've got to separate you two. We're gonna move on. Thank you so much to YouTube Originals for supporting this live stream here at YTO Stages. If you want to see the full and complete live stream and understand how all these stains got on my pants, make sure you click the link down in the description below. Go now. And as we prepare to wrap things up here, I want to give a huge thank you to YouTube Originals for sponsoring last year's stream as well as this year. Your generosity has made this amazing show possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mobion Studios, you have been our partner for the entire trilogy of these St. Jude events. Mobion, you are incredible. Every single one of you. Kendari, Mark, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. YTO Stages, you have a beautiful space here. Thank you for giving us not just one, but two crazy spaces where all this insanity could happen. Also, special thank you to Aztec for providing us the beautiful backdrop prints that you saw during the Pictionary section. That was unreal. Thank you for your artwork, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to spray it with paintball matter. Also, to ModMD for providing all the COVID testing that you saw here today. We're just getting messy. We're not getting sick. So, ModMD, thank you so much for the COVID testing. That stuff can really add up. We really appreciate you helping us keep the budget down. Spin Masters, thank you so much for that entire pool of Orbeez. Thank you for donating literal millions of those little beads so we can swim around and embarrass ourselves inside of them. Steel Wool Studios, I can't wait to see Security Breach here in a couple weeks. But in the meantime, thank you so much for providing 30 shirts for that donor giveaway. A huge, huge shout out to Leslie's for their generosity of 100K dedicated to St. Jude. And also for those pool supplies that you included as a part of that obstacle course. Thank you for showing that generosity and care for your fellow man is something that any brand can get behind. Also on that note, YouTube, your generosity, $125,000 as a part of today's stream. Thank you for supporting us creators. Thank you for empowering all of us to do shows like this and thank you for supporting amazing causes like St. Jude. And also to Simon Property Group, thank you for your 25k donation and making the game show segment of today happen. Man, that game of Linko was really exciting. It was deep into the live stream, but man did that pick the energy up. So thank you for your donation. Thank you for empowering that shopping spree for one of our contestants. And speaking of empowering our audience to go shopping for the holidays, thank you to Giving Good Cards by Blackhawk Network. Your generosity of 10k to kick off the stream right. You guys are amazing and lastly and certainly not least but to the crowd control warp world team for making that minecraft section possible to all the guests here in studio and virtually over the stream from literally around the world it was awesome to have you representing the whole youtube community and our community of theorists you gave such energy and life to the live stream and most importantly of all to you at home for watching through this entire nine ten hour epic thank you so much for empowering us over the last three years and making this trilogy possible if you are one of the people that completed the trilogy let us know down in the comments below. We'll make sure we pin and like and whatever to all those comments. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said earlier in the stream, you are the ones that made this possible. You have shown that goodness doesn't depend on a marketing budget or whether it's trendy for the year, that just being a good person is important regardless of what's going on. So thank you for supporting the amazing cause of St. Jude and thank you so much for supporting us for the past 10 years here on YouTube. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the show and I'll see you in the next video and who knows what next big projects are coming down the pipeline. So in the meantime, remember, that's just a stream. A live stream. We'll see you for the next one.